Using the LS Wing, we can control the Hogforce software or consoles as long as you have OSC enabled. We can also send DMX out of the ports on the LS Wing using the Artnet or SACN functionality built into the HOG4. As long as your system is unlocked to be able to output, you're good to go. To begin, the very first thing you want to do is make sure the LS Wing is on the same network as your HOG4 console. You also want to make sure that you have a configuration computer on the same network to set up the LS Wing. To begin, let's turn on the Wing by applying power, and then we'll press number five if it's not already selected for OSC. After 30 seconds, the lights stop flashing, which indicates that the wing has booted up fully. Now you can navigate to the wing's IP address, which by default is 192.168.1.10, or the name lswing.local. You can configure either of these as you wish. Check out our overview video for more information on that. Here in the LS Wing, the first thing I'm going to do is turn off the OSC remote control if it's not already. This is for controlling the LS Wing from a third-party OSC program, but that's not what we're doing in this example. Now, let's go to Targets. We'll press plus on a circle if it's not already done, and scroll down to High End. We can scroll using our finger or mouse and choose HOG4 OSC. Now, we'll want to go ahead and set the IP address and press Save. The port number by default in HOG4 is 7001, so there's generally no need to change this. Now, on the mapping page, we'll press the plus circle inside of any of the mappings and press Edit to create a new mapping. Press Yes. Here at the top, we can go ahead and name our mapping. And select any button or fader, in this case I'll go with a button, and add an action by pressing Add. Now, we can press the arrow, we can choose Playback or Programming, and choose the command that we want to use. You can go ahead and press push here to test it or push the physical button on the wing. Now let's go set up the HOG4. I'm here in the HOG4 PC software and I'm going to press setup and then navigate to the network menu. This is the same process on a HOG4 console. Pressing in the row for the console, I can press settings and then open sound control. We want to enable OSC in, and we see the IP address matches that of the console. Press apply, and then we're able to close the window. Heading back to the LS Wing configuration page, we can then go ahead and press push to test any button that or fader that we've created. We can also press them on the console ourself, and in the hog software, we'll see the command execute if everything is set up correctly, as I have done here. Now go ahead and press OK, and you can go to the rest of the buttons and faders and configure them as you wish. Press Save to save the mapping, OK, and then Exit in order to exit the configuration. At this point, you no longer need the setup computer. We can also set up the HOG4 with the LS Wing for DMX control using the Artnet or SACN node built into the LS Wing, which offers two ports. We'll go to the node page of the LS Wing, and here we can see our network settings that we're able to set up. Let's set up the hog first. Heading over to the console, we can go to Setup, Network, and then choose our DMX processor. We can go ahead and then press Settings. Scrolling down, we have the option to configure Artnet or SACN output. In this case, I'm going to use SACN. We can go ahead and press plus, and then we can go ahead and set our universes. Now, if we turn off multicast, we can unicast to our LS wing, which generally works best for simple networks. I can go ahead and set my IP address, 
set the universe I wish to transmit, and I'll do this for multiple universes as needed, and change the priority if needed. Press apply and OK. And now, if you have the output unlocked from your Hog 4 PC or console, you'll be outputting through the ports on the LS Wing. Congratulations and enjoy the LS Wing.